Okay, welcome back. We uh, enjoyed our short break. Thanks again to the um, CFO and the cafeteria service for that. And Dr. Piper. Thank you. Uh, at this point, at this point, uh, I'm going to turn it over to our business manager, Mrs. Engelman, and the Cipher and Cipher uh, audit report. This is just on here for next week since this is just a work session. Cipher and Cipher will be here next week at the board meeting. Audit. Any audit again? That's that's the annual financial report. Yes. It'll effective June 2021. Okay. Uh, under finance uh, for uh, bills for payment for February, uh, we will have uh, approval of payment as follows: general fund for four hundred forty-nine thousand dollars and seven hundred fifty-five dollars and forty cents; cafeteria twenty-three thousand three hundred thirty-eight dollars and seventy-four cents; and student activities nine hundred forty-six dollars and eighty-eight cents. Next week also, uh, Mrs. Engelman, we're going to be talking about the bonds for real estate tax collectors, about Chartier's Towns for Houston Borough real estate tax collectors. Yes, Sharon Lungo for Houston Borough will need updated, and Joseph Rosas was just appointed as a Chartier's Township real estate tax collector. Under personnel for next week, we, we have on the agenda an addition of two substitute cafeteria workers for the current substitute list. Uh, and we will look to add Cynthia Dean and Holly Tatana. Both applicants are residents of the district, and we have uh, all their completed paperwork on file. We also have under personnel uh, a movement to a motion to hire a PIMS access coordinator and registrar. Uh, and I would like uh, to approve the posting for that position uh, for this meeting so we can have that. And uh, I believe, I'm sorry, I believe we have a candidate that we'd like to be able to bring on. This is a follow up to the posting that we had and the interview process has taken place. Uh, Mrs. Engelman, would you like to add anything to that? Uh, I'm recommending that we hire Kelly Stitt Beginning February 28th, 2022. So, salary according to the chest plate. So, uh, could, could we take action on that? I would, I'm, I'm requesting action. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, then, yes. Okay, I'll make the motion. Okay. I'll second that. We have a motion by Mr. Como, second by Mr. Johnson, to hire Kelly Sitaro as the PIMS Access Coordinator Registrar for CHESPA agreement effective starting uh, February 28, 2022. Said approval expressly contingent upon receiving all appropriate clearances and with the caveat that she will not be permitted to commence working in the district unless and until all appropriate clearances are received. All clearances are received. Okay. Everything's on file. Great. Any questions or comments? If none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Seven. Seven. Seven games. Motion is carried. Okay, we also have another uh, item on the personnel I'd like to make a motion for this evening to hire a general cafeteria worker and kitchen clerk for Allison. Elementary School, Allison Park Elementary, and the high school. And those people are Catherine Corowicki for the cafeteria of general worker and kitchen clerk. This would include 3.5 hours of the general worker and one hour each for the position of kitchen clerk for both Allison Park and junior senior high school for a total of 5.5 hours. So can I have a motion to hire Catherine Corowicki for cafeteria of general worker and kitchen clerk? Second. Okay. Motion by Mrs. Rush. Second by Mr. Como. Any questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion the next item, I have a motion uh, for retirement and for uh, Ms. Donna Dragon. 
superintendent to the uh, secretary to the superintendent. And uh, unfortunately, to make the uh, recognize uh, Mrs. Dragan's contributions as the superintendent secretary, not just to myself in the short time that I've been here, but for the many years that Donna has been here in the district uh, and is really, you know, needs maroon and gold for the community and uh, will be sorely missed upon her departure. But I'd like to ask the board, not only in recognition of Donna and her service for the district, but also to post the position uh, to advertise for the superintendent, uh, secretary for the superintendent. So can I have a motion, it'd really be a two part motion to accept the retirement and then to advertise the position of the secretary to the superintendent. Anyone make the motion? Okay. Motion by Mr. Mel, second by Mr. Kolovich to request uh, the retirement of Don and Dragon, Secretary to Superintendent, effective March 11th, 2022, and request permission to post and or advertise the position. Any questions or comments? <clears throat> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Under conference and field requests, uh, I'd like to make a motion for Mrs. Boxtos to attend the Pennsylvania uh, Association for Supervision and Curriculum Development Annual Conference at the Hershey Lodge Convention Center, March 27th to the 29th. Registration fee $465, meals $120, lodging $350, mileage and tolls $252. Estimated cost is $1,187. Yes. Okay. Someone like to make a motion? So moved. I'll second. Motion by Mr. Pink, second by Mr. Fresh to approve Mrs. Boxes the uh, PAASCD annual conference. Any questions or comments? If none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay, uh, under field trip requests, I'd like to make, um, I'd like to read off all of these individually and then uh, just make a motion for uh, approval. Uh, I believe for a lot of these, uh, they are not right. There's no charge because they're not overnight. So it's uh, field trips to second, third, and fourth grade gifted students. There's three of them. In the second to fourth grade Calpew Crush math competition at North Strabane Intermediate Unit, Cannon McMillan on February 11th, 2022, accompanied by Kathy Smith's sponsor. The cost is only uh, transportation. Then there's fifth and sixth grade gifted students. There's seven going to the fifth and sixth grade Calpew Crush math competition at North Strabane Intermediate Unit, Cannon McMillan, February 16th, accompanied by Kathy Smith. Again, other than there's for transportation for the school van, but there's no cost to the district. Then we have freshman class trip to the Western Area Career Technology Center, 81 students to be held on February 23rd, accompanied by Sean McNally and Justin Gavazzi. And again, all we're paying there is a the transportation cost for those students. Grade 10th and 11th high school gifted students, eight of them to attend Get Ready Now, preparing students for post-secondary success at IU3 or virtual, sponsored by Western Pennsylvania College Success and Allegheny Intermediate Unit on April 1st, 2022, accompanied by Kathy Smith. Cost only involves transportation for a school van. Chorus. We have uh, one student who was recognized to go to PMEA Junior High District Course at Bethel Park High School on April 29th and 30th, accompanied by Nancy McGill. Registration $55, transportation school van, substitute $100, a total cost of $155. And the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students to the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade Science Bowl at Carnegie Museum of Natural History on March 9th, 2022. Accompanied by Kathy Smith, registration cost $80, transportation, school van, no charge. So those items will all be on the agenda uh, next week. 
The board does need to approve the overnight trip uh, coming up on these items, and those are uh, AP Government and Politics, 24 students going to Washington, D.C., April 1st, 2022, accompanied by Mrs. Ashmore, Bill Mary, and one additional teacher to be determined if needed. Chartier's Houston Marching Band will travel to Cedar Point and Great Lakes Science Center in a marching band performance at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, Friday, May 6th through Sunday, May 8th, accompanied by Robert Smokovic, band director, and the Future Business Leaders of America Triple Competition, 21 students to Hershey Park on April 10th to the 13th, accompanied by Lonnie Potts. Uh, and that cost is uh, listed on the attachment. I believe we talked about that last week. Right. So those are the items that we will need approved. So I'm just going to Kurt, do you, do you have the cost for the while well, I'm like flipping through? No, I do not. I think it was about fourteen thousand. I thought it was twelve thousand two hundred forty. Yeah. That, yeah, that sounds correct. So could I, have, could I have a motion uh, for the approval of these three items? You need it today, not next week. Well, if we could have it today so people could finalize reservations uh, and get things set up. Anyone willing to make a motion? Second. Motion by Mr. Mel, second by Mr. Como for to approve of three overnight trips as uh, Dr. Piper just read off. Questions, comments? Do they do any fundraisers for that? <clears throat> we they, talked about that, that last that time. Cost, they, right? they haven't it, for this year because of the timing of it. You know, we feel it'd be, I feel it'd be unfair to add some fundraise at this late point, but I do think looking at the next school year, Jay, I think that's fair of us to ask for some fundraising help to defray the cost. Questions? Okay, if not, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. The next item on fundraiser requests, um, we have the class of 22 and 23 to host the dodgeball tournament to raise funds to help cover the cost for the 2022 prompt. Categories are elementary grades 4 through 6, junior, senior, high school grades 7 through 12. Sale date from January 31st to February 4th, 2022 to create teams of up to eight members at a cost of $5 per person. And the tournament will take place this Saturday. The Leo Club is requesting to sell pepperoni rolls from That's a Wrap and Pizza Cafe to raise money for Relay to Life from February 20th to March 11th. Mrs. Ashmore is the sponsor for the Leo Club. Musical will sponsor a Cinderella character meet and greet on March 5th, 2022 in the auditorium. Nancy McGill is sponsor. Families can bring their children to meet students dressed in character from the musical. Uh, under athletics, uh, we have an appointment of spring sports coaches. Uh, so there's a discussion on approval to hire the 2022 spring sport coaches. Said approval expressly contingent upon receipt of all appropriate clearances. With the caveat, they'll be not permitted to commence working in the district unless and until all appropriate clearances are received. Mr. Kesnick, do you, do you have any um, 
comments or input on the appointment of the spring coaches? No, we can hold off till next year. There's only one new coach that is uh, the one volunteer for baseball. Okay. And everyone else is returning from baseball. Oh, that's, that's the next item, appoint the volunteer yes. assistant baseball coach? Yes. Okay. Discussion on the appointment of Nathan Shellcross as a volunteer, set approval contingent on receipt of all the appropriate clearances. And all paperwork and clearances as of this date are complete for his personal file. Yes. Okay. Next item under athletics is the opt out of the Whitfield team wrestling. Uh, Mr. Kesdick and I had discussed that with Mr. Mary, uh, and, and I support uh, the recommendation to go forward with that. Mr. Kesdick, would you like to discuss that? Explain a little bit more. Uh, basically, what it is is um, for the next couple of years, we're only going to have next year probably five wrestlers varsity wrestlers and we will have about four or five ninth graders which it would be more advantageous for them to stay in junior high than it would be to push them up to varsity to fill a varsity team um with this we will wrestle in, um we will make a schedule in which we will still use all 22 of our points but we won't wrestle any individual ma any tournament any matches like you would come to on a Wednesday night. Everything will be tournaments, uh, pool tournaments, uh, things like that, that will actually give our kids a little bit more experience. And then we truly believe that in two years, this will help us with our numbers. We have a large crew coming up from uh, from the, the youth organization. Um, and we believe after the two year cycle that we're going into, that we'll be able to, to fill a competitive team. But we think that in talking with myself, um, Dr. Piper, um, I talked to some people with the WPIL, talked to our head coach, um, Mr. Novelka, Mr. Mary. We think that this is the best for our program at this time. Um, and that's basically it. We're still able to wrestle in the section tournaments. We're still able to qualify for states, for WPILs. Anything individual, we're still able to qualify for, but anything team-wise, we are not. My questions individuals could still follow up. Yep. Any other questions, comments? Okay, moving on under buildings and grounds. And I would like to make a motion uh, to include the following motion on the voting session agenda for February 21st. Uh, this motion is being made after a communication uh, on Friday afternoon with the Office of Civil Rights concerning the accessibility of our outdoor playground and outdoor classroom at Allison Park Elementary and ensuing discussion this morning with the architectural firm of HHSDR to address these concerns. Uh, I'd like a motion to contract with HHSDR, the architectural firm, to prepare bid documents based on the proposal from Snyder Recreation Incorporated and requirements and directions from this district to develop a preliminary design and estimate for playground renovation at Allison Park, prepare construction bid documents, including drawings and specifications, perform construction and administration and monitoring until renovation is complete, billing based on an hourly basis at a price not to, exchange, not to exceed 10% on a salary range or cost range, cost range of eighty thousand to a hundred thousand. Uh, but I'd like to make that uh, a motion for this evening for the board to vote on. So moved. Second. <clears throat> motion by Mr. Como, second by Mrs. Brush, and the motion is to include a motion on the February twenty first voting session. Agenda to contract with HHSDR to prepare state documents regarding playground renovation at Allison Park Elementary School. Any questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. The next item under education is the approval for source well technology uh, for. The, uh, a diagnostic math screener named Spring Math. This would be a four year agreement. Currently, uh, at our elementary, we have a, a similar screener for reading in the Dibbles program and assessment, but we do not have something equivalent for mathematics. Uh, 
as we're going through our student performance scores and looking where we can best provide resources, interventions, and accommodations for a student in the areas of math, there's really a need to have a screener in place. So on the agenda for next Monday, we'll have this for uh, Sourcewell for the spring math, math screener. The next item under education uh, is the, uh, and, and you know, initially we, we intended to have this on the January agenda. Uh, I sent it out to the board, but with everything that happened in January, we didn't formally get to approve it on the agenda. But in coming up, we'd like to have an education committee meeting uh, next week at 5:30 prior to the public meeting. If the board, if you know, the board wants to discuss the course select book and the public wants to take a look at it, uh, but we'll have an education committee at 5.30 next week, and we'll post it on the website if anybody wants to discuss or, or review the course select book. The board has copied the select book with proposed changes that are in it, uh, so ideally we'll be able to vote on it uh, formally on the 21st. Uh, but there will be an education committee meeting next week at 5.30 prior to the voting meeting on the 21st. Under, uh, we have nothing under transportation. Uh, under board concerns, we have a request uh, by Shannon Bach for an unpaid day on January 17th, 2022. We also have a request uh, for unpaid days for Jennifer Winters from January 4th to January 14th. Her request backdated from January 20th. And we have a request for uh, unpaid days for Julia Winters, cafeteria worker, for January 19th. And those will be on the agenda for next week. We also have on the next item is approval of purchase and advertisement in the musical program. Uh, it's my understanding the board has always purchased the full page ad in the back cover of the musical program. And we have that uh, on the agenda for next week. Discussion, uh, the cost will be $65 for the act. The next item is approval for the PSBA principles of governance and leadership. And that is, uh, will be discussed uh, as something that we get every year. Uh, and it's just basic guidelines and parameters and good practice of governance for boards that we adopt as, as something that we uh, adhere to and uh, try to operate our own meetings and uh, procedures under. Under the next one, review of policy 112, that's just the review of our Title I parent and family engagement policy. Uh, all the board members have received a copy of that. So again, this isn't to approve a new policy, but just that we've reviewed it and are going over it so that it's we have fidelity with the family engagement practices that we have uh, going on currently under Title I and federal programs. And that's all I have for the report. I'll turn it over to the solicitor. No report. Okay. I, I don't have an, an additional support as superintendent at this time. And I don't, I don't have anything else for executive Thank session. This. For the record, we did meet for executive session at 5 p.m. today. Right. <clears throat> at, at this time, are, are there any board concerns that people want to discuss? Then we're have a motion to adjourn the February 14th work session. Second. Motion by Mr. Kolovich, second by Mr. Como. Uh, it's 7 18 p.m. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everybody.